a little bit deeper and to work out a couple of setups they had against the Australian batsmen. Let's have a look for starters at the work they did right at the top because that was seriously impressive from them. Now this is what I want to actually just to highlight here straight away is I want you to have a look here and also look at uh, the deliveries that come down. So there's going to be some speeds here. 133 k's per hour to get the first wicket. Finch at 143. Lubbershane goes at 140. So Freedies was uh, the more accurate getting hair. I think he just lost that for starters, basically Travis Head. And then the next one, 143, then 140. So let's have a look at a little bit of a build up here to Finch. Let me just highlight one or two things. And one thing that uh, he looks to do all the time, um, uh, sorry, um, Harris Ralph, is he looks to try and get around about middle and off stump. He's, he's bowled a lot to Finch over the years, and he tries to get between bat and pad, and he tries to actually catch him on the crease here so that he doesn't get to, whoopsie, tries to catch him on the crease so he doesn't get well forward. And you'll see once or twice there's a couple of little stutters as we go. So let's just have a look at the work from him. This is the first delivery, allows that to go through. So Finch is worried about the balls on the stumps. Overbalances a fraction, then suddenly with that one, he overbalances totally and his chest faces the bowler in the end and he's on his way. So there's no dramas with the work that was done at high speed from uh, Harris Ralph, which is really good. Now, this is the Lubber Shane, and this is a, a nice setup again. There's a dot ball. This is a yellow ball. That's a boundary ball. So again, I'm highlighting these areas here. So you look at the dots and the boundaries and the dismissals. So there's a, a boundary ball and a dot. Let's look at more dots that just build up shorter length that time. Then there's one a little bit fuller. What he tries to do is he drags him a little bit wider, a little bit fuller, and he gets the edge and he's caught by Iftikhar in the slip region. So that's good work from Hiraf, again at high speed. So there's not too much time for Lubbershane to react too much. I'm going to have a look at something which is a positive from an Australian point of view, and I think Alex Carey is one player who's really stepped up in this entire tour. And this, again, we saw some good work from him today. That's what we call a, a, a mini wagon wheel at the bottom, along with uh, a package at the front. And just look at the way he opened the blade for some of these shots. His runs were instrumental in getting some sort of total. He played really nicely opening the blades. But, uh, of course, it didn't get them that far in the end. But I thought he did a fine job. So the setups, importantly, from Ralph to Labashane and also Finch. But, of course, that big wicket with Travis Head right at the top was really good. But we can't uh, finish there. I've got to include a wagon wheel from uh, Barbara Azam. And we'll just see the work that he does around the clock face, if you like. And you might just remember that when he played uh, two days ago, a lot of his runs that he scored in this uh, on the wagon wheel, a lot of those runs were scored to the leg side. Had quite a few boundaries here. Whereas that's not the case. This time, he's playing a lot on the offside and working this area a lot and not so much in this region. So it was a bit of a change for him, but it was still absolutely brilliant. And his performance, yet again, was simply sublime. So good work from the Pakistan boys, the quicks up front, and, of course, the captain right at the end.